Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video and for today's I want to discuss the Mosasaurus as well as the Tyrannodon and of course other aquatic reptiles and pterosaurs and specifically how they may be used in the game because if we look back at the first Evolution game many people's critiques on the Tyrannodon being included were that it was basically a fishbowl dinosaur that once it broke out, it did nothing, except literally it did. It flew up into the sky until it disappeared. Doing really nothing for your park, except um, being a new animal to have. Now, one, people, one thing people are worried about is, will this be the same with evolution for both the Mosasaurus and Pterosaurs? I don't think so, because of a few things. One, the trailer has shown us some pteranodons flying around and not like just going straight up in the sky. Yes, I know that's not actual in-game footage, but still, it could be their way of telling us, hey, unlike with the first evolution game, pteranodons and other pterosaurs will be able to fly around your islands if they break out and then you can try and retrieve them, which that would be so cool and so difficult at the same time, having to pilot the helicopter and um, dart dinosaurs as they're flying, well, pterosaurs as they're flying around. That would be dangerous. And we'll get back onto that in a second because we just got another topic. And for the Mosasaurus, if it were to break out of its enclosure, could it swim out into more open areas of um, water? Like, say, if you have a beach for guests, could they be in danger of Mosasaurus attacks? Which, yeesh, I, wouldn't, I hate to break the news, you wouldn't survive that long. And with this, if that's the case, what other things could they do? Like, as I mentioned, for capturing, recapturing um, loose pteranodons or other pterosaurs, could they attack the helicopter that you're using? Similar to how in the first evolution game, if you were near a dinosaur and started aggravating them, they would start to attack you very brutally, I might add. Will this be the same with pteranodons and stuff? Maybe. And as for the Mosasaurus, what if it needs recapturing, how are you going to do that? Are you going to use a submarine, like the one in Fallen Kingdom? Which, eesh, that would be creepy. I don't know, there's a lot of things we need to look at. And also with this, will we be able to have um, Mosasaurus and Pterosaurs be able to attack other dinosaurs as well as people? Like, will pteranodons be able to pick up people and drop them from major heights and like if they drop them into an enclosure and they get killed by another dinosaur that could be a dangerous lawsuit happening because well yeah you're dropped from the frying pan and put into the fire oh geez that reminds me of zara's death could that happen or with the mosasaurus could like a dinosaur be drinking from open water say like if we have that nature preserve for the campaign like I suggested in my first reaction video. Could we be having that and then like if a dinosaur was drinking by the water, could the Mosasaurus reenact Jaws and then lunge for the um, dinosaur and pull it into the ocean like it did with the Indominus Rex? Maybe. I, I really think this should be discussed because it'd be amazing to see um, these things happen like if pteranodons broke out, you'd have to like literally shut down the park, get into a helicopter, and try and tranquilize every single one, which, oh my god, that would be the hardest mission. You think copies are bad people? They're not like flying around and everything, they're just running and screaming. I had to do it, guys. I had to do that Ian Malcolm code. It was right there for the taking. But what do you guys think? Do you think that with the Mosasaurus and other aquatic reptiles as well as pterosaurs, do you think that they will be able to attack people and dinosaurs, or do you think that they're just gonna be like the Tyrannodon was in the first evolution game? Personally, I hope that they aren't like the first game because that was a big letdown, and I'd love to see Tyrannodons like lifting people up, throwing them around, pecking at them on the ground, or even with Dimorphodon or something, or Quetzalcoatlus, who could probably swallow a human whole if you think about it. All these things, that's just, that's just so cool to think about with this, since evolution's on the way. We can think about anything that could happen, but leave in the comments what you think about this idea I have. 
and your reasons why you agree or disagree. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye